Welcome to Blueprint Radio. I'm your host, Martin Williams. Here we help you create a blueprint for your life. So let's build. And welcome to Blueprint Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. We do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. All the links to the podcast can be found at batteredexpressions.com forward slash podcast and mess or wherever you're listening to this podcast right now. So today's topic is going from unbelief to belief. One of the things that I've learned over the years is that there are multiple versions of our, excuse me, of ourselves in existence. And with those multiple versions, there are multiple timelines that are possible for us to experience. And so how do we experience those different versions of ourselves and those different timelines? Well, we do do so by decision. And this is a way that I believe God evens the playing field because everyone's born into different circumstances. Some people are born into wealth. Other people are born into poverty. Some people are born into tremendous advantages. Other people are born into no advantage. Um, some people are born with, you know, crazy parents. Some people are born to, you know, the best parents ever. Right. But you have to level the playing field or else people can make excuses as to why they don't live the type of life that they want to live. I mean, people are me, you know, people will make excuses anyway, myself included out of ignorance. But when you understand that the playing field has been leveled, there's a certain level of accountability that comes with that. So we have the ability to choose our experience. Now, we, we should not be trying to choose someone else's experience as much as we don't want anyone to choose ours. The thought of it is staggering. But what you want to remember is this. Like I said, we choose our own experiences unless we don't. And then they're chosen for us and that we can live any experience that we want. So at the beginning of each day, we should make a choice about the things we want to experience, the type of day that we want to have. We should choose to experience that and then take inspired action in line with that belief. So when you set goals, you're choosing to experience that goal. So let's say I'm setting goals for today. I choose to have a very productive day because the possibility of having an unproductive day exists and I don't really need that. I can choose to have productive and positive conversations because I could have unproductive and negative conversations and I don't have need for that either. I choose to create order in my life instead of disorder and chaos. I choose to expect the best possible outcome than to expect failure. I choose to have more than enough uh, resources and, and money and friends and um, family and, and love and kindness than to not have enough. And I choose to do the necessary things in order for that to happen. And what you would do is take every area of your life and specifically decide what you want to have and what you want to happen. In the scriptures, it says to judge not according to appearances, but to judge righteous judgment. So what that means is, is that you should be judging not according to what you have, but judge righteously, judge the right thing, right? Make the right decision. That's literally what it's saying. A lot of people you know, essentially are stuck because they're continuing to choose the things that they're living from day to day instead of choosing to live the way that they want to live. Right now, a judge makes a decision. That's literally his, his or her job is to make a decision. Right. When a judge is presented with all the facts, he or she then makes a decision determining, excuse me, determine on the facts, right? And then that decision is something that everyone has to live with. The attorney for the defendant, the prosecutor, the, the jury, you know, everyone has to live by that decision. On You know, the jury can make a decision and then the judge you know, obviously goes along with that. But I'm saying like in a civil case, Oftentimes, the judge is the one making the decision that affects everyone, right? So in your life, you're the judge, 
you make the decision and everyone else around you has to live with that. And, and that's whether they like it or not. A lot of times people are making decisions to appease other people and that's no way to live because you're the one that's got to live with it above everyone else, right? You have to live with that decision, you know, more than anyone else because it's your life. So this may seem contradictory to another scripture that says not to judge, but in that context, that scripture is saying not to judge others, which, which means not to make decisions for other people. Okay. Because when you start making decisions for other people, you are being bound by that decision. That's the power of decision, right? When you start making decisions for others, you're being bound by it. So if you're, if you're judging people and making decisions that aren't good for them, then you're putting yourself in like a sort of prison because you shouldn't be making decisions for other people. A full-fledged adult has to make a decision for themselves whether you like it or not. You're the judge of your life. Excuse me. You're the judge of your life. You make decisions. You decide. You decide the type of health that you want to have. You decide the type of day you want to have. You decide the level of your energy. Either you decide or others will decide it for you. Now, when it comes to unbelief, right, which is the title of this podcast, a person can keep good things out of their life because of their unbelief. For instance, uh, unbelief on a surface level means that I don't believe. I don't I, I don't believe that this is true. Right. So if I told you that you want a million dollars, you might say, well, I don't believe that it's not true. Right. So that's unbelief. OK, but it goes deeper than that. When you make a decision and you don't stand by it or, and commit to it, you get a different result. This happens quite often with people. Let's say that you decided to go back to school and then you realize you were the oldest person in the class or that school would take much more time than you thought or that it would be more expensive. Doubt starts creeping in and it only can do that because you didn't make a decision. What decision did you not make? Well, it's actually multiple decisions. The first decision was to go back to school and get excellent grades. You just made a decision to go back to school. But did you make a decision to go back to school and get excellent grades? Did you make a decision to manage your time effectively to allow successful completion of all assignments and high performance at work, all while maintaining a healthy life balance? Probably not. Right. And then the third decision that you should have made was to easily pay all school related expenses on time and in in full. Right. So you can see how all this works. When you start making these specific decisions, what happens is that you trigger something in your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is basically saying, okay, it's go time, right? Because the decision has been made. And now you've got to, as long as you walk in that decision, you stand by it, everything needed to make that decision a reality will happen. And that's very important. Too many times we're, you know, we're waiting for something to happen, but you haven't made a decision. And if you don't make a decision, you can wait your entire life for something to happen and it won't happen. Unbelief is a symptom of a lack of decision or a decision that you no longer support or stand behind. Right. So when you make the decision and stand by the decision, the unbelief dissipates and faith takes over. And then once faith takes over, it's only a matter of time that the result you want comes into manifestation. You move from unbelief to belief by making a decision and leave nothing else up to your environment or your habits or anything else. You set the order and then you move into your desired truth. So hopefully that helps you um, understand decision a little bit better. If you're interested in working with me uh, in a coaching capacity, I'd love to work with you and and help you reach your goals, help you reach the things that you've been going after, uh, whether you just started going after it or you've been going after it for a long time and you haven't really reached it yet. I'd love to work with you. So uh, click on the Calendly link in the description box and you can schedule a short discovery call 
uh, to go over your goals and how I can help. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll talk. Thanks for listening to Blueprint Radio. For more information on Martin Williams coaching and products, please go to guidedexpressions.com or visit me on Facebook as well as Instagram. 